first of five new details emerging in that interstate inferno. The driver of that tanker has passed away from his injury. And tonight, road crews are quickly working to get that busy stretch of I-75 back open. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park live near the crash site now with the very latest. Jane. Well, Curtis, Carolyn, I can tell you the crews have been working all day. Today, they laid down fresh concrete over that portion of northbound 75. Of course, this was uh, a massive tanker fire, so you can imagine the extent of the injuries that driver suffered. And after clinging to life, we learned he has died. Family members and Michigan State Police confirm Roddy Blaine Wynn of Detroit died of the severe injuries he suffered in the massive tanker truck fire on I-75 Thursday morning. The 53-year-old was a driver for Corrigan Oil in Brighton. He had just fueled up and was heading to his next destination when the crash happened. Company President Mike Corrigan releasing this statement Friday, saying in part, We are deeply saddened by the loss of a longtime member of the Corrigan family. Our thoughts and prayers will remain with the driver's wife and two Two daughters during these tough times. Police say Wynn was driving southbound on the freeway near Melvindale and Lincoln Park when he lost control of his truck, struck the median, and crossed over into the northbound lanes. 8,000 gallons of fuel burned on the freeway, and the flames could be seen from miles away. MDOT is now working quickly to fix the busy road. Crews laid down fresh concrete Friday, and they will work through the weekend fixing the damaged section between Outer Drive and Southfield. Drivers, in the meantime, are using Fort Street and Dix Highway to get around the closures. The extra detour traffic is good news for some local businesses. In and out is hard getting in and out of the store, but other than that, it's brought business to us. People not knowing the area, the Down River area, past our establishment, so it's actually been good for us. And many regular I-75 commuters swallowing the small headache while sending their thoughts to the family of the truck driver who lost his life. People know, know what they're doing. They're paying attention. The problem that I can see are people coming from that don't aren't aware of the accident that happened yesterday. The road expected to reopen Monday morning. MDOT says Monday morning before rush hour, if weather conditions cooperate, uh, we saw a lot of drivers using Dix Highway as a detour. You can also use Fort Street or I-94 to get into Detroit. We're live in Lincoln Park, Jane Park, 7 Action News. Curtis Carolyn. All right, Jane, thank you. 7 Action News will send a push alert straight to your phone once that part of I-75 does reopen. For now, though, you can find information on an alternate route right on our website at WXYZ.com.